Welcome back everybody. Alright, we have a challenge today. We need to pass that knot through that pulley system on a hull system. Okay? Now, there's multiple ways of doing this, but I want to show you a way that takes minimal equipment and is fairly simple. Okay? So, let's go ahead and advance our system until the knot gets close. Okay, we're going to stop about there and let the prusik lock. Okay. Now, obviously, this is our problem, right? This guy needs to go through this system here and, and end up over here. So, how do we do that? Well, you're going to need a prusik that's long enough to go from this anchor plate, if you have one, to right here. Okay, and I happen to have one. And it's right here. Now, if you have a couple short ones, there's no reason you can't join the two short ones together with a carabiner or what have you, okay? But the important point is, is that this Prusik has to be in front of this knot, okay? So let's go ahead and tie a triple wrap Prusik. Okay, and go ahead and set our Prusik, get it nice and cleaned up so it'll grab properly. And then like all Prusiks, we have to make sure they're going to grab, okay, so give it a good tug in either direction. Okay, so now we have our Prusik set, and anytime you have a, a system, if you have an anchor plate, and you have to do something like this. Anchor plates are just so valuable, okay? Now you can do this with, without an anchor plate, uh, but if you ever have a system that you anticipate having to do changeovers or knot passes, put an anchor plate in there. It makes your life so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and set that. Okay, so now our next goal is to take the weight off of this brush so I can put it under this one. And the way to do that is simply haul a little bit, keep your lower brush like open, and then go ahead and let it, the weight transfer, okay? All right, now all our weights on this brush here, so we can go ahead and disassemble this. Because again, it's not has to be over here, okay? So we can take that off, and let's go ahead and take our Prusik off too because it's in the wrong position. And we'll just retie that here in a second. Okay, so now uh, we have to continue to raise whatever we're raising to get this uh, knot advanced past this pulley. And the easiest way to do that is to convert this to a two to one. Okay, so now we are, we're already set up here from the pre-existing three to one. So pull enough slack right here and just tie you a figure eight on a bite. Okay, and then Again, this is where the anchor plate really comes in handy. Let's go ahead and put that figure eight on a bite into there. Okay, so now what you've done is you've got a bunch of slack right here, which is what you want. And if you pull the tail, what you now have is a two to one. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull our load and if you have a second person, this is really handy. And we're going to advance this Prusik. Okay. And ideally you have a second person to do this. Okay, so I'm gonna let that grab. Okay, now that we're gonna check to see if we can get this knot past our pulley now. And we can, okay. So that's all it took. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in there and we need to reset our progress capture pulley or Prusik, I'm sorry. Another triple wrap. Go back in this carabiner here. Okay, now we want to advance this Prusik as far as she'll go. Okay. Now, our last step is to take the pressure off of this Prusik so we can transfer the weight onto this one. Okay, and we're just gonna grab our two to one system, slide our Prusik loose, let our weight back onto this Prusik. And what you've done now is pass the knot. And we just need to break, break down all this extra stuff we've done here. So we're gonna take our long pressic off. Okay. And we're gonna break down our two to one. Take our knot out of there. And then we're gonna find our tail and we're gonna take all the slack out of this system. And get that stick out of there. It's the number one rule. Not a uh, rope will pick up every stick on the ground. Okay. Okay, now, job's done. We have, we're back to our three to one haul system. Got our progress capture and our knots been passed. Okay, and then just a matter of continuing what we were doing. Okay, I think that's probably one of the simplest ways of doing this uh, with minimal equipment. So, hope this helps. Uh, my next video is going to be how to pass a knot on a lower system using minimal equipment. Okay. So stick around for that video too. All right, on to the next one.